I want to talk to you today about uh, correction bolus, uh, or in particular, if your doctor or diabetes nurse has put you on a, uh, a fixed bolus regime, in other words, uh, you're on uh, 30 units of Lantus or long-acting insulin uh, you take every night, and six units of Nova Rapid, Humalog, uh, uh, short acting mealtime insulin at meal times and it's a fixed dose uh, then you can still do a correction dose for example uh, the doctor might have started you on a sliding scale for example if your sugar levels between 10 and 15 take an extra two units but you can be more accurate than that you can work out and calculate a very uh, effective correction bolus by using what we call the 100 rule so what is the 100 rule for example, uh, I've just uh, you see, if you're on background insulin or your long-lasting insulin is uh, 30 units, for example, uh, you just need to know yours. If you're on twice a day, then you just add up the total amount of uh, background insulin you're taking. Uh, and, and then uh, if you're on a fixed bolus of six units of, let's say, Nova Rapid uh, with every meal, and it's a fixed uh, dose, we know sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it can cause low sugar levels, sometimes high, because we know we need that flexibility. However, you might be new to it, you know, but it's still good to be able to do a correction bolus when your sugar level is high, to be able to correct it and bring it down quite effectively and quite quickly. So how do we do that? Well, it's really quite simple. What I do is I add up my long-acting insulin and my short-acting insulin together to get a total daily dose, TDD, as we call it in the business, total daily dose. And once I've got that total daily dose, I just use a very, very simple formula. If I can get this page over. Very simple formula, formula which is called the 100 rule. And really, it's just 100 divided by your total daily dose. For this example, it was 50 units. 30 units of Lantus, 666, six, six, which is 18, and I've just rounded up to 50 units, just for simplicity here. So, what I do is 100 divided by my total daily dose gives me 2. So, 1 unit of Nova Rapid, or mealtime, short-acting insulin, will lower my sugar level by 2 millimoles. So, if I test my sugar level three hours after eating, and I've taken my six units, by the way, and at three hours, four hours after, and my sugar level is uh, 12 or 14 millimoles per liter, and I really expect to be around about six or seven, I can correct the difference. For example, let's say I want it to be six, four hours after, but it's actually 12. I want to correct six millimoles, so it's really quite simple. I inject three units of short-acting insulin. So, I could do that before my next meal, if my sugar level is 12, and it has a correction, or I can do it any time, roughly around about three hours after eating, if I'm not going to be eating for the next uh, three to four hours anyway, I can just do a correction. So, we're calculating a correction bolus is really quite simple, and it, it actually it stabilizes your sugar level, and then what you do then is you add up how many corrections you've done, or how much correction insulin that you've actually uh, done throughout the day, uh, and then you can talk to your doctor and then they can calculate a, a different insulin level for your mealtime insulin. You've been listening to Mike. Thank you.